The CAMFIT model puts the child at the centre, as client. You know, language in international development, I think, is very important. A beneficiary is somebody who comes and accepts and is grateful. A client is somebody who should be able to make a demand, who knows what the service is being provided and can challenge that. We do not say, okay, it's over to comfort now. We work with the family. We work with those who care for the child on a day-to-day -day basis. So really, it's, it's that dynamic. It's that culture that we are inculcating. So for us at CAMFED, the opportunity lies in enabling girls to move through education, through childhood, through adolescence, into young adulthood, into tertiary level education, and becoming the professionals, becoming the change makers themselves. And this is what we now have. Uh, after uh, a little over 20 years. We have an organization of alumni, 24,436 strong, of young educated women, all united by a background of rural poverty and a commitment to change. And to me, it is, it is one of the most inspiring things to see how they relate within the institutions in which they work, how they change those organizations from the inside. We want uh, schools and young people themselves to have access to technology. And so with partners, we are driving um, the opportunity to learn this uh, fundamentally important skill for the 21st century. And then beyond that, thinking about financial literacy. You know, when people are from homes where the talk is always about the lack of resources, uh, about the anxiety uh, that relates to poverty. It means that people develop a fear around money, around financial management. We need to move beyond that. We need for young people to be able uh, to have, you know, financial confidence, financial literacy, financial capability. So we, we provide training uh, in those areas uh, to enable people to understand, you know, how they manage their money. This, this also extends into the, into the communities we work with because we are utterly transparent to them. They know exactly how much money that is available. They know exactly how much money is going to be sent to where for what. So we are building through the way we work, financial uh, responsibility and financial management skills. All the countries we work with um, invite us to work with them. So Zimbabwe, Zambia, Ghana, Tanzania and Malawi. We have memorandum of understanding with ministries of education in which the roles and responsibilities uh, of CAMFED and the roles and responsibilities of the ministry are in fact laid down. It's a collaboration. Uh, it means that we have access to important data. Uh, we have access to plans on educational expansion. And, and we provide to ministries our own data, uh, sharing what we have learned, sharing what's working. And we, of course, work at the district level with education officials. So it's a very inclusive uh, way of working. When I was describing uh, this to, to an audience some years back, um, someone said, well, this, this is marvelous. It sounds very good. It's uh, you know, really a wonderful model, very high touch, and it can't be scaled. And I said, no, that's not the case. We have scaled. Uh, Camfit has demonstrated that a model that puts care and concern of the child at the center can indeed scale. And indeed, I believe that the only way to scale sustainably is to work in that way. Because really, you know, the world has proved many times that it can scale cruelty and aggression. And what we need to prove is that we can scale kindness and compassion.